Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So this video today I'm deciding to react to a campaign that Earthling Ed and his team have just released. Now I haven't seen this video, uh, you're going to get my real raw honest reaction. I know it's to do with exposing the UK's dairy industry, so this should be interesting because UK pride themselves on high welfare treatment of animals and you know the best in the world are we always here. So let's play this from the start and react to it in real time. Throughout the past 18 months, Surge have had hidden cameras placed in dairy farms around the UK. What we have documented has shocked us. The dairy industry is painted as a wholesome industry where the animals are treated with care and compassion. Grazing dairy cows and adverts perpetuating these ideas reinforce the notion that animals don't suffer for dairy products. However, the footage that we have acquired tells a very different story to the one the industry tells us. Animals being systematically exploited and abused. Farmers Whoa. showing contempt towards the animals. Wow. Violently beating them and showing a complete disregard for their life. Wow. Uh, as you can see, already they've uncovered just, you know, negligent, ignorant farmers beating the animals. Animals are enslaved. They're treating them as slaves. What you're about to see is objective. It is the reality and it is the truth. Cows are mammals, which means they only produce milk to feed their children. Consequently, dairy cows are forcibly impregnated every year to ensure they're continuously producing milk that the farmer can sell for profit. Look at this contraption here. This contraption they have the animals in here. It's a rack that they use to forcibly impregnate the animals. Uh, vegan activists call it a rape rack. Uh, looks like rape to me. Looks like they are held down in the rack because they don't want to be touched like that. So they're having to be forced to be impregnated. That's why they hold them down. So when people say, oh, these animals, they, they can't consent. They, they don't have the capability to consent. Exactly. Neither do children. That's why they have to hold them down in these racks. They don't willingly want to be impregnated like that. Very uncomfortable. This is done by a farmer or a vet restraining the cow and forcing his arm inside the anus of the cow holding her cervix through the lining of the anus and then forcing a syringe through the cow's vagina and injecting bull semen. Wow, so people go, well, I've heard this before. People go, why do they stick the fist in the anus when you need to have, you know, go through the vagina to be impregnated? Well, they, they stick the fist inside the anus to hold the cervix in place and then insert the pipette of bull semen right there, right there, investigation, recent investigation into the UK. This is what they're doing. Now, do you think the cows are happy about that? An arm shoved into that part of their body? Absolutely sick and disgusting. It's perverted, sexual abuse, nothing less. When the cow gives birth, her baby is taken away from her almost immediately. Oh, this is horrible. Mother cows form close relationships with their children, with natural herds being both matriarchal and familial. Consequently, the separation of the calf from their mother causes them both huge amounts, huge amounts. of suffering oh my God. and stress. That's called pining, what the cow's doing there. They're pining out for their young. If you think these animals are just mindless machines, look at how they act when you take their children away from them. These industries are built off the exploitation of the female reproductive system. So if you're a feminist and you consume dairy products, have a look at what they're doing to these female animals. Impregnating them, raping them, taking their children away from them, using them up for what's rightfully theirs and their youngs. How is that like in any way, shape or form humane or ethical, like the industry would like to lead you to believe. We documented farmers dragging, kicking and throwing newborn calves. On this farm, the calves are tossed into the front loader of a tractor. Oh my unable God. to stand what? there, they desperately trying. What is he? Look how he's treating this baby. Look at that. Throws her throws him or her on the floor. They're just products to them. Just a bag of potatoes, just throw them around. On dairy farms, calves are separated from their mothers and have no opportunity to feel maternal love or even to feed naturally. You know, as a calf, their natural instinct is to suckle from their mother. Not for just food, for that that love that they get from their mother that no one else can give to them. No one else can give a child the love that they get from a mother. I'm not a parent, but I know this is true. If any mothers are out there watching this, you know that the only true connection 
a child can have is with their mother, especially at that age, a newborn, a newborn. Now, people say, oh, farmers, they care so much about their animals. They're a means to a financial end for these farmers. They're doing this to make money. Make no mistake about it. On this farm, the calves are instead pinned down and force-fed formula by the farmer. Calves that don't willingly Look at these babies. the force feeding are slapped and thrown around like they are worthless. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, I've just had an insight. They've left, left these cameras in there without the farmer's knowledge, okay? When you see BBC goes into dairy farm, it's like one of the most high welfare dairy farms in the world, all right? They know cameras are coming in. They clean up. They act right in front of the cameras, all right? This is when no one's looking. This is what happens when no one's looking. This is the reality of it. When there's a secret camera in there, not when the BBC come in to film a dairy farm, they all know what's up, okay? They're gonna keep it nice and clean and tidy. This is what's actually happening behind the scenes. They are only babies. This farmer is tagging the ear of this calf who has only just been born. If he's sticking his foot on a head or how, how horrible. How would you like that done to you, mate? A separated calf calls out to their mother. Or, or how would you like that done to your child? Like, imagine a doctor taking your child away from you, like just in the hospital to do what they do with the baby. And, but imagine them sticking their foot on the baby's head and ear tagging them. How horrible. This is how they treat these animal slaves. Nudging them around. Check him out. This guy's really heartless. Male calves are of no use to the dairy industry. So every year in the UK, around 90,000 male dairy calves are shot and discarded soon after birth, simply because they are not deemed profitable enough by the farmers. Exactly. They shoot them in the head straight after birth because it's, it's actually a cheaper way of getting rid of them than selling them even. So they just, boom, shoot them in the head. You know, this is all about financial gain to the farmers. If it's not um, lucrative to them. They won't do it. The other males will either be sold on and raised for beef, or they'll be killed for veal. The female calves are normally placed in solitary confinement pens, where they can legally be kept for up to eight weeks. Now look at this, they're in pens here. Now I've been in solitary confinement for five days. Now it was the most grueling five days of my life. There was no television, there was no clock, no way of telling the time. Your food gets fed in through the, the gap in the door. I had no um, material things. It was pure suffering. Now, they're born into captivity, these animals. And this is in the UK right now. High welfare, UK dairy, keeping animals in captivity. I did something wrong. I was in prison because I did something wrong. These animals have done nothing wrong. They are infants, they are babies, and they keep them in prisons. The mother cows are then milked by being herded into the milking parlours. This can happen up to three times a day. I love how they call it a milking parlour. Like, I don't love it, I think it's disgraceful. A parlour is where you go to get pampered. A milking parlour is where they're going to get exploited and have the milk taken from them, you know, three times a day. That's what it is. It's a big exploitation machine to suck out what you deem is profitable. That's what that place is. There's nothing like a parlour about these disgusting milking farms. Cows who do not willingly walk to be milked are beaten, punched, and abused. Here we go. Until they come Is that a parlor? Farms. Does this look like a parlor? They're beaten if they don't go get milked. Doesn't look like a parlor to me. Euphemisms they use. A parlor. This abuse was documented at every dairy farm that we visited. Oh really? Oh really? Okay. So what Ed's saying here is this isn't the exception, this is the rule. Every single dairy farm that they left a camera in, they get stuff like this. Ed and his team aren't the first investigators I've heard this from. You can leave a camera in a slaughterhouse for two days. You can leave a camera in a, in a factory farm for two days. You're always gonna find something, always. Frustrated farmers beating animals. Look at this guy, tough guy. You 
Yeah, real, real masculine to beat innocent animals that can't fight back, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, this is pure bullying. Those animals can't fight back or defend themselves. Why don't you try that against someone who's bigger than you? And, and, and see what it feels like to be treated like, you know, a victim for once in your life. Because that's what you're doing to these animals. You're victimizing them. And, you know... We can put all the onus here onto the farmers, the dairy farmers, but they are supplying you, the public, with a product. They are doing this to these animals so you can have milk on your cereal and we have 20 to 30 different alternative milks made of plants. None of this has to happen. So yeah, blame the farmers. That's, that's wrong what they're doing. But why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? As a direct result of supply and demand chain to give you a product, to give you your cheese, your chocolate, when we have vegan alternatives to these. This cow's limping. This is saddens me and angers me. Look at them, they can't even walk because their udders are so distended and their udders, like, they're not supposed to produce that much milk. Like, the, these have been selectively bred, these animals, to produce 12 times, 10 to 12 times more milk than natural. Like, these are human, you know, manipulated animals. They, they, don't, they don't just appear like this in nature. We have done this to them. Look at this. Look at this. The dairy calves left to rot on the ground. I've seen this. Left in a bin. Mother cows who are seen as no longer being useful to the farmer are also often shot Boom. on the farm. And all of those animals, all of those animals heard it. Imagine they're living in fear for the rest of their lives now. Oh. Being left to decompose. Look at that. Swearing, shouting, and verbal abuse was also documented as being commonplace across the dairy farms that we investigated. Cows are sensitive animals who form close bonds and are easily scared. They are. If you've ever met a cow, or, or just go on to like, a, a farm if you see like, some cows on a field grazing, let them come up to you and look at how gentle and sensitive they are. You move your hand and they'll go, they're very sensitive, gentle animals. They're very big animals, but they're like little puppy dogs in their mind. They don't know what's going on. They don't know why this is happening to them. They've done nothing wrong. Does not represent isolated cases or bad apples. This footage represents the systematic and ubiquitous nature of the violence that takes place in animal farms. Even those actions that are legally condoned still cause suffering. Dairy products come from violence, but we have the power to make it stop, please. Leave dairy off your plate. Together, we can make the violence end. Thank you for watching. Wow. Oh, how beautiful these animals are. Wow. Dismantle dairy. Dismantle dairy. Thank you so much to Ed and his team uh, for uncovering what we already know is true. But this brings another level of evidence. This is current, okay? Try and argue with that. Try and argue with evidence. What evidence do you have that this doesn't happen? We're showing the evidence it does. What happens when no one's looking, when cameras are left without the farmers knowing? This is the true reality of the dairy industry. You go in and tell the farmers you come in with a camera like the BBC do, okay? You're gonna get an absolute pile of propaganda nonsense. This is the truth. This is the truth of the dairy industry.